Read the disclaimer. Hello everyone and welcome to the Beyblade X episode review time. So let us talk about the latest episode that is adapting the Shigeru debut chapter and uh, we'll kind of just get into it. So this is obviously coming off of the Battle Shuffle Festival that's going to that all-star battle stuff, whatever. They're basically just kind of continuing off of that. So technically this leads one chapter to another just for how they're adapting it. They do kind of set up at the start that Pakun is watching, which uh, they do kind of go over in a moment. Um, but yeah, they're basically just going over just part of the stuff and some of the, the bladers that got to the top of it. For an example, uh, Pakun, which is a top influencer, a bait tuber. Um, you got Jura Rex, which had an interaction with Pendragon. I'm surprised they actually kept that. Uh, and Queen Manju, which is a very much different uh, from our actual manga design. Uh, mostly just in the color palette, but uh, I was a little surprised. Like, oh, uh, but yeah, this is basically going to be the next, uh, I don't know, the next few weeks, I guess, is going to be Team Dream versus Team Persona. So that's going to be actually pretty cool to see, actually, because I just want to see how exactly they're gonna adapt with uh, Bird versus Pakun. Because afterwards, I think we go, yeah, we go straight into the whole thing with the other stuff of the, uh, well actually, okay, I'll do spoilers now. Spoilers real quick for five seconds. We're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hold this position so that way, if you care about spoilers, you can skip, but uh, common why is gonna be right after that, so. Yeah, but let's kind of just go into the rest of it for this episode. Uh, just because, you know, I think it's a little interesting to talk about because uh, Shigeru comes at the sushi place, uh, they recognize her, um, and Bird tries to cover up uh, Exu's uh, head with the mask. She already knows it's Exu because she recognized that launch, which we did actually see them kind of set up in the previous episodes, uh, which is a nice little thing that they, small little things that are nice that they added. Um, this week, I don't think the art was uh, the strongest, at least consistently. I think some stuff looks really uh, off. Anyway, she came here, she went to go try a sushi, and then after she basically is just wondering why Exu left Pendragon. She does not believe that Team Persona is doing anything for Exu, and she wants him to come back uh, to Team Pendragon. So, I again, like I've been saying, I, I do like kind of how they've been adapting uh, these chapters, mostly just because I like how, the, like, for an example, and like the previous stuff, like the small stuff, like her watching Persona, like you actually see that. And after it kind of leads into this episode, which is nice. Although it is kind of weird how they do like the scenes and whatever, but besides the point, there's small, there's only small differences with this chapter in this episode for the adaption. And it's not really too, too much. The only difference is now they have the UX phase before they kind of just revealed it at the end. But Bird basically goes up against uh, Shigeru, talks to Maiden. He's like, oh, so wait, what are you? She's like basically like the bay trainer for them. And she's offering a bay for her to use. And she's like, no, nope, I only want to use the balance type. She uses Hell Scythe and Bird is deciding between Hell's Hammer and Hell's Chain because he has both, so it makes sense continuity wise. Bird tries to do his best to use his Chain Blast. It absolutely fails. He gets bodied, bodied. She calls him very much weak and uh, just believes he is dragging down Exu. And after Multi appears and they do the big reveal that she's actually the, the sister, so Multi and Shigeru are both sisters. Um, Exu never realized this. I like that kind of moment there. He's played off a little bit here, I thought in the manga's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> that Exu just never realized because of their last names. Like, oh wait. Um, and basically, she basically reveals the whole reason why she became a pro, which the whole reason that she became a pro was in order to defeat her sister. That's why she's been climbing and getting all this experience and being with Team Persona. So, again, I think um, it's pretty much, this is really just following all the beats of the chapter. It leads into now Multi versus Shigeru for the battle. And uh, I, I guess... Right, I, I think this episode was fine for the battle. I didn't think it was. I mean, actually, the CG in this episode was really good, and the music actually was really, really good for the new music that they had. But she's basically asking, oh, well, why is she cosplaying? Because she believes it's a weakness, and she basically comments that her sister views anyone below her as just weak, and she does not care about them. So she's going to try to prove that she can beat her. So it's basically Hellside versus Wizard Arrow. She's like, oh, I made this bay. I know how it works. It's like almost a repeat of the battle with bird versus multi but shigeru obviously has a lot more experience and she's like why are you doing the same strategy that from before she hits her with the extreme dash crescent judgment it's really really cool looking 
I really liked the CG in this. Okay, some of, some of the visual direction was nice in this episode, but consistently I, I thought it was kind of whatever, but I like that segment of the Hell Scythe. I thought that was really cool. Beats Multi, and after she just gets out of there, and then after she basically reveals that her sister has beaten her so many, many times. So that that's also another thing, you know, Multi had all of these strategies and everything failed again. I think she lost like, I think it was like some certain amount in the manga, it's like 10,000 times or something like that. Like just some really, really high number. She's never been able to beat her sister, which is cool because that actually does lead into, you know, part of like the final battle of Pendragon because there's actually like multiverse, you want to beat her sister. So it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It leads up to it. There's actual stakes in the thing. She has, she has her purpose to basically just defeat her sister, so I, I think it, it builds up nice. Uh, and then after basically at the end, you know, their team persona, they'll climb using the UX base. Yeah, and at the end of it, they do kind of build with part of the fact that Chrome is a little bit <laughs> unhinged. So, because she basically was trying to get Exe back, because Chrome is... Chrome is going insane. <laughs> Anyways. At the end of the episode, they do show that Pakun got the files and everything, so this basically leads into next week where Pakun is going to have a Hell's Hammer. It's going to be Team Dream versus Team Persona. Wow! Yeah, but uh, yeah, this, this is just a basic chapter adaption. I, let's, I already went over probably the stuff that I did like in this episode. Um, I thought the CG of the effects were pretty nice. I thought the music was pretty good. Um, like, what did I say? Story 5. I think just art I just thought was, uh, was a little weak this episode. You know, well, slightly below average. You know, I just said a 2.5. I think the animation itself was just average. The battle was fine. I think the CG was good. So I said animation and battle was 3. I said CG 4 and I said characterization 5. And uh, this was a good episode for Multi. You basically get part of her backstory, get part of the thing with Pendragon. So... Yeah, not really much else to say. I think this episode was fine. I didn't think it did anything crazy, crazy. Well, actually, the music was really good. So the music, that's that was really strong for this episode. And the, the visual direction was okay. It was it, it was okay. I don't think the execution for a lot of times when you're watching X, like there's a good idea, but I don't feel a lot of times the execution is almost there. But it was okay. It was okay episode. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I do want to mention, huh, because it's for the Friday. I'm pretty sure, speaking of Queen Manju uh, and the Shinobi Bay, I'm pretty sure later today I should probably have uh, my two-pack review of Knife Shinobi. So check that out. And if you're a new year, subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts. And make sure to check out mollabays.com. We have Beyblade X products, Beyblade Burst products. It is an optional way to support the channel. It helps keep the channel alive. I appreciate any support regardless. Guys, I want to say thank you all for watching. I think overall, I'm, I'm kind of just so-so with Beyblade X. I feel like we've gotten a little bit more into it. I just think it's... I feel like it's okay. I don't really think much of the... Much stuff is going to really change once we get to the finale. I feel like the, the quality is just average so far, and I think that's whatever it is what it is but i'm just i i would love it if near the end of the series maybe could have gotten like maybe gets a little bit stronger in terms of just presentation and everything maybe i don't know maybe i feel like most of the episodes i feel like just that the presentation is kind of it's kind of mid or below mid and i just i don't know i i hope for the best so yeah just uh, thank you all for watching have an amazing day take care Fuck.